What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and in this video, I'm going to show you every single feature of PancakeSwap. I'm not only going to show them to you, I'm going to demonstrate them all for you to see for yourself. You'll leave this video knowing everything there is to know about PancakeSwap. Now, I don't want to waste any time, but please, if you do find this video helpful, take one second and hit that like button. Now, let's jump in and get to the demonstration. All right, here we are. This is the homepage, PancakeSwap.Finance. And guys, I'm going to leave a uh, links to the in the description below so you can navigate this video. I'll leave all the timestamps there so you can go through. And this is going to be a very comprehensive look, but there are parts that you don't need to see or parts that you do want to see. I'll be That'll be on the description for you uh, below. So when you come here, you'll need to connect a wallet. This is how it'll look on the homepage. It's going to show you this is the, the main page here. You're going to need to connect your wallet. So I'm going to connect my wallet. First thing I will say, I'm going to use MetaMask. So if you want to follow along in this demonstration, it will make sense for you to have MetaMask. And if you've never used PancakeSwap before and you've never used the Binance Smart Chain before, chances are when you pull up your MetaMask wallet, you will not have the Binance Smart Chain already there. You'll be uh, basically transacting on the Ethereum mainnet. So right now, if I pull up my MetaMask, I'm on Ethereum mainnet. I've already added the Binance Smart Chain. So I've done other videos on how to do that, but I will show you guys how to do that right now. So this article right here from Binance Academy actually is the best way to walk you through it. And of course, this will be in the this link to this article will be in the description. But you basically want to come down here and this is the information you want. Right where it says main net, this is the one you're probably looking for. It is. This is the one you're probably looking for. So when you come back here and you're on, you pull up your, your MetaMask, you're going to have your options here. Like I said, I already have it here, but you will go here to this little emblem right here, your, your avatar, and then you'll go over to settings. And when you click settings, it's going to bring you to this menu here and you're going to go and scroll down to networks. And then when you hit on networks, it's going to show you all the networks that you're currently connected to. Obviously, Ethereum, everybody, that's the default for most people. You'll hit add network. And when you hit add network, now it's going to ask you for this information. And then you come back over to this article and this is the information you want to hear. So it tells you to put a network name as smart chain. You don't actually have to do that. You can name it Binance Smart Chain or my favorite chain or however you want to name it. But the other stuff is really important. So make sure you copy this stuff exactly. You hit add and then you have the Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask. Once you do that, you can come over here. You can connect your MetaMask. So it tells me right now, because I showed you guys I was already connected to Ethereum, do I want to switch to the smart chain? And I do, so I'll switch the networks, and then I'm logged in here. It'll take a second, and there we go. So now I'm connected, here's my wallet address here, and this is how it looks. So right now, I'm participating in a little bit of some of these pools and the farms. As you can see, I'm earning some of this interest right now. But I'm gonna go one by one on these features because I want they're they're all really important and they're they're all necessary, they all work a little bit differently, they're all necessity. So the homepage we see, this is the homepage. So we have anything that you have in your farms or staking, you're gonna see how much you've earned right here and you're gonna have the the option to harvest. And what harvest means is you've been accruing these, these tokens for whatever you're doing, if you're contributing to a liquidity pool or you're part of a yield farm, you're earning this and you can harvest this at any time. So what you would do is it, that you would hit harvest, it's going to ask you to authenticate the fee or confirm the fee and you can see the fee is just minimal, right? The reason we're using this is because Ethereum is not usable right now because the fees are so high. The fees here, no conversion rate available. It's like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a penny. So if I did this right now, and I will, I'll hit confirm. Now this 0.519 is going to be added to this 0.1278. It takes a second, but you'll see in a second it will update. Over here, see, now it came out and it's going to add it over here. It'll take a second, but it'll be there. And then what you'll see here is your lottery winnings. I don't have any, but you can also see it just went up. I just got that amount right there. So happens pretty quickly on Binance Smart Chain, very, very fast and for a very, very little fee. Now the lottery is pretty cool, works just like a lottery. You can come over here and buy tickets. A one ticket costs one cake, and cake right now is sixteen dollars and thirty one or sixteen dollars and three cents. So you have to buy it with one cake. Right now, I don't have any cake, but I'm gonna have some in just a minute as I show you some of these other features, and then we'll come back and buy. But the way that the lottery works is if you come over here, they're gonna pick four numbers, and they're gonna do it. They do it every day at seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So. I'm in Los Angeles, it's 7 p.m. for me. Wherever you are in the world, it'll be that time for you. And they pick four numbers. And when you buy a ticket, you get four numbers. And those numbers are in a specific order. So when they pick the four numbers, 
they're in a specific order, your numbers are in a specific order, and if you match them in that specific order, if you get two or three or four, you will win the designated amount of cake for the pot. So obviously to match four is all of them. You have to match all of them in the same order. You would get 836 cake. However, if there's multiple people that win in any one of these pools, you will split that amount with them. So as more people contribute to the lottery, the obviously the amount goes up. But the cool thing here too is that they also burn a very large amount. So they burn the same amount as the person who wins gets three numbers correct. So they're burning uh, tokens every day, which helps with the price. You've seen cake was down at about $9 about a week and a half ago and now has gone up close to 90%. So that's really cool. Obviously, Pancake Swap is a swap. It's a, it's a decentralized exchange. You can come over here if you hit trade and exchange. Once your wallet is connected, this works just like Uniswap, but obviously much less fees. So you can choose any of the tokens here and you can go token to token. So not only can you swap, you can also add liquidity if you have two tokens that you want to add a token pair to their liquidity you can do that and then it comes over here to this bridge and this bridge is actually where you can convert your eth tokens or any exchange to any network to any network so what this will let you do is let's say you had usd tether on the tron network and you wanted to send it to binance smart chain you can come and do it here let's say you had eth on erc20 and you wanted to send it to binance smart chain you could do it here or bnb or if you had band on erc20 and you wanted to send it to band protocol you can do all those things here because it allows you to do move all these things between chains and it does this in a you know very cost efficient way the one thing is you can't Technically, you can't use it if you're in the United States. So you will have to get behind a VPN. I'll leave a link to the VPN that I use in the description below so you guys can check that out. But that's that's built in right here. And definitely take advantage of that if you need to convert some tokens to Binance Smart Chain. I will tell you, if you are converting right now from ERC-20 to anything, it's expensive. So just know that there's a lot of fees right there. It's a one-time fee on the way out. Once you get over to Binance Smart Chain, much, much cheaper fees the way it really, really should be. So that's the way it works on the exchange and the liquidity with liquidity i will let you know if you're going if you're planning to add liquidity to a network just like with pancake swap as any others you do have to have the same amount of the token pair so if you wanted to do let's say bnb and cake as a token pair as i'll show you i i, I do have that token pair you would have to have the same amount of bnb tokens as cake tokens and at that point you can add that liquidity pair to the network you'll be you'll be receiving liquidity tokens back for that exchange so that what that looks like i'll show you just in just a second here so if we go over to the pool the pool is the next thing i wanted to show you and they call it the syrup pool and look this is an exchange a decentralized exchange so they're trying to acquire liquidity so they offer these different tokens here that you can stake on their network. I'm staking cake right now. I have 15.509 cake staked and I'm earning a 111.9% APR. So because it's showing zeros right now and that's because we just harvested on the main page, but you can come here and you could stake Zill or 92% on your Zill, which is pretty crazy. You could stake any of these tokens and the designated amount here. So anything you want, you're gonna earn this amount. And you're gonna earn this APR, you're gonna earn this in cake tokens. So anytime you want, you can come and you can stake those out. And that's how the pools work. So the pools and the farm, the main difference is with the farm, you're staking a liquidity pair. So as I mentioned here on the trade, if we look here, you can exchange or you can add liquidity. So if you are to add liquidity and let's say you, you, you had a, a coin pairing that you wanted to add liquidity to. Once you, you added that liquidity to the network, you would be assigned liquidity provider tokens or LP tokens. And I'm gonna go back over here to the farms because I'll show you what that looks like because I have one going right now. So when you come over here to the farm, they have all these options here. So a little bit different than the pool, these are a coin pairing that you're, you're staking. If we pull down the details here, I have staked 4.698 cake dash bnb lp tokens so lp liquidity provider tokens so i provided cake tokens and bnb tokens an equal amount to the network i then got this lp tokens which are liquidity provider tokens and i am earning this amount this 103 percent apr plus a 40 times multiplier so that means every time a new block is mined they get 40 times the cake on this this liquidity pool so 
you get a little bit of a bonus there. But at any time I could harvest, so right now I just have the 0 0.001 because I showed you a harvest earlier, but I could also unstake these. So if I wanted to unstake, I could just come here and hit the minus. And I'm gonna show you how this works because this video is showing every feature on PancakeSwap. So I can hit the max here and confirm this. It's gonna ask me to authorize this transaction, which I will do. I'm gonna confirm this. And then it's gonna take a second, but these will no longer be staked. And then you'll see here now, nothing staked here. And if I come back over here to the liquidity, we'll pull up this screen here, you're gonna see I have this liquidity available under your liquidity. So now I have this, it's showing here. So what this is, is this is 1.30389 BNB matched with 21.7658 cake. So that's what I contributed. And if I were to remove this, I can do the max and I can get this out. So what I'm gonna do that, so you guys can see this because this is showing you every single feature, how to use it on PancakeSwap. So I'm gonna prove this. And now I can remove this. So I'm gonna confirm it. It'll ask me to pay this small fee again. Great, and now this is gonna take a second, but when we go back here kind of to the main page, you're gonna see that I have now available that amount of BNB and that amount of cake. So we'll come back here to the main page. It'll take a second to refresh, but I'll, I'll bring it up here on the exchange. Great, so you can see my amount of BNB here, which went up, and my cake, 2241 that I just got. So now what I wanna do is, so, and now, I, I'm not, now I'm out of that. I'm not in that farm anymore, and I don't have those liquidity tokens. So I have the BNB, and I have the cake tokens. So what I wanna do now is I wanna buy, I wanna buy a little lottery ticket so we can, you know, because I don't know, if you guys are new here, I do a lot of giveaways and look, if we win lottery, it's gonna be a huge payday for everybody. So I'm gonna buy, you know, we just got 22 cake. I'm gonna buy two tickets, call me cheap, but whatever. Confirm it, I'm gonna buy two tickets and then I just wanna show you how this works. And then I'll update you guys if we win and we'll share the wealth. All right, so I purchased those, we're pending the confirmation. In a second that'll go through and then I'll show you what it looks like to view your tickets. But lastly, I wanna show you, not lastly, but I wanna show you they do have here, if you click on the info, it'll bring you to this overview page, just different stats, all the coin pairings and things like that. So you can come over here, you can look at the tokens. The one thing I wanna let you guys know, if you bring up the stats initially, it may take a little bit of time to load these pages. It may take a little time to load the tokens and the pairs, but they are there, it'll show you all the information, you can go deeper into them if you wanted to, and then you can save accounts. So if you wanna save your different accounts in here, you can feel free to do that as well. Now let's go back over here. So we have two tickets for this round. This one's concluding in two hours and 47 minutes. So I'll update you guys. I'm obviously not gonna stay on this video for two hours, 47 minutes, but we got these numbers here. So those look like a lot of the same numbers. I don't really love our chances here, but that's our chances, close it out and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. The last thing I do wanna show you here is IFO. And they do this thing here, so if you wanted to list your token for a release, an initial farm offering, if you will, on PancakeSwap, you can do that. And you can also participate in these initial farm offerings and you get a you get these initial tokens as they, as they become released. So it tells you how to partake here, buy Cake BNB, and then stake LP tokens for Cake BNB. Those are actually the ones I cashed out, but you would do that and it gives you the links to do that. Then during the sale, you commit your Cake LP tokens to the IFO. It'll give you an option to do that when it's available and live. And then after the sale, you can come and claim and it come in here. Right now it says nothing to claim, but if you did, it would have something to claim here. You could do that and you would get your, in this case, Belt Phi or whatever coin was doing their initial farm offering. All right. We've covered every single feature of PancakeSwap. I've demonstrated them all. Now I wanna look at the, the coin price just real quick so we can look at how this has moved because people got down. This token had, I think two weeks ago, some call it FUD, call it unlucky news, but basically they had a little attack, a minor attack. It wasn't anything to do with the network or the cryptocurrency, but there was a little bit of a phishing scheme going on and token dropped down into this $8 range a $9 range and I think it was actually right like right here because it was it was going up and then this happened here and then I was telling people like cake is good everyone's going to have to use this because ethereum's not usable and look what happened guys basically doubled your money so look I love this network Binance Smart Chain is great the fees are 
non-existent, I would say. It's fast, it's amazing. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know, did I miss any features? I don't think that I did. And keep keep with me, guys. I'm gonna post an update. And if we win on the lottery, I'll post an update so we can claim our winnings together. And I'll send out some to some of you guys that have watched this video. So don't forget to leave a comment because that's always your entry to win. And please like this video. It really helps this video get shown to more people. Your support has been amazing, guys. I really appreciate that. Trying to put out as many videos as I can. And if there's something you want to see, leave me a comment below. Until the next time, be safe.